In the landscape of classic television, Ironside stands as a timeless emblem of the industry's prowess. What enduring qualities render this series a perennial symbol, weaving itself into the fabric of television history? Perhaps it's the unwavering strength of its narrative or the indelible mark left by its characters. As we delve into the show's nuances, we invite you to reflect. Do you harbor a cherished memory associated with this iconic series? As we explore the nooks and crannies of Ironside, let's uncover some random facts that add depth to its legacy. Created during an era marked by cultural shifts, the show broke ground by featuring a lead character who, despite physical challenges, became a symbol of resilience. The crime drama's compelling storytelling and memorable performances have etched it into the collective memory of television enthusiasts. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this groundbreaking series? We're eager to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Share the moments that made Ironside a fixture in your TV journey. Crafted to endure, Ironside transcends its time, a testament to the enduring appeal of a well-crafted narrative. So, join the conversation and let your memories unfold. In 1967, a television series hit the screens, leaving a lasting mark on the crime drama genre. Notably, with the passing of Elizabeth Bohr in 2017, Barbara Anderson stands as the sole surviving member of the original cast. This fact reflects the passage of time since the show's inception. Dana Winter's appearance in two distinct roles adds an interesting layer to the series. In The Return of Ironside, she takes on the role of Ironside's wife, showcasing the versatility of the cast and the storytelling within the show. Beyond its standalone success, the series also served as the launching pad for other short-lived productions. A couple of episodes laid the groundwork for Sarge and Amy Prentice, demonstrating the influence and impact of the 1967 TV series on the television landscape. These tidbits hint at the broader significance of the show, both in terms of its enduring cast and its role in shaping subsequent series. The 1967 TV series Ironside, with its distinct characters and narrative choices, continues to be a touchstone in the history of television crime dramas. In the evolution of Ironside's core team, Mark's journey stands out prominently. Originally Ironside's bodyguard, Mark transitioned into a full-fledged police officer and later pursued a legal career, culminating in his role as a judge in The Return of Ironside. This progression exemplifies the dynamic character development within the series. Meanwhile, shifts in the cast also played a pivotal role. Barbara Anderson's departure after the 1970-1971 season due to a contract dispute significantly impacted the show's dynamics. The shakeup underscored the challenges behind the scenes, reflecting the complexities of sustaining a long-running series. On a more tangible note, the choice of vehicles used by Ironside and his team added a distinctive touch. In the early episodes, a modified 1944 V8 one-ton police van was their mode of transport. However, by the second season, a shift to the more familiar Ford Econoline van marked a practical and aesthetic choice, showcasing the attention to detail in the production. These facets contribute to the multifaceted legacy of the series, illustrating how character arcs and behind-the-scenes developments shaped its narrative. From Mark's professional evolution to cast dynamics, and even the choice of vehicles, each element leaves an indelible mark on the broader landscape of crime dramas on television. In essence, the 1967 TV series Ironside stands as a testament to the nuanced storytelling and production decisions that defined its era. In Ironside, Raymond Burr portrayed a wheelchair-bound hero, a role that carried an ironic twist given his previous depiction as a villain in Rear Window, where he fought against a wheelchair-bound hero. This unique dynamic added depth to the character and set the tone for the series. Notably, Stephen Bochco, a future powerhouse television producer, played a pivotal early role in the show. Hired by executive producer Frank Price in the first season, Bochco was tasked with extending scenes in the initial episodes. However, his skepticism about the show's longevity strained his relationship with Price, marking the beginning of a professional tension that would persist. Adding to the series' star-studded ensemble, renowned actor Paul Winfield, who made his screen debut in a Perry Mason episode, appeared in three Ironside episodes. His presence further elevated the caliber of talent associated with the show. These fascinating aspects for his dual portrayal, Bochco's early involvement, and Winfield's notable contributions underscore the depth and complexity of the 1967 TV series, shedding light on its impact on both the actors involved 
and the broader television landscape. Raymond Burr's portrayal of a wheelchair-bound hero in the TV series brought a unique dynamic to the show. Interestingly, in some episodes of the first season, his character navigates in a powered wheelchair, while in others, it's a manual one. This subtle detail adds an extra layer to the character's portrayal, showcasing the attention to authenticity in the show's production. Beyond the on-screen details, Burr faced significant physical stress from extended periods in the wheelchair, aside from the challenges to his eyes. The commitment to realism in depicting the life of a wheelchair-bound detective contributed to the show's authenticity. This aspect of the production highlighted the dedication of the cast and crew to delivering a genuine representation. Fast forward to 2013, a remake of the series stirred controversy with its casting choice. The decision to cast a non-disabled actor as a disabled character, played by Blair Underwood, drew criticism. The show's attempt to adopt a grittier, and more violent tone received universal derision from critics. After just nine episodes with only four broadcasted, the remake faced cancellation due to both critical backlash and poor ratings. These Facebers' nuanced portrayal, the physical challenges faced during the original series, and the controversy surrounding the 2013 Remacular score, the enduring impact, and evolving perceptions associated with the portrayal of disability in television. The legacy of Ironside transcends its original era, leaving a lasting imprint on how disability is depicted in the world of entertainment. In the early days of the TV series, Raymond Burr's commitment to authenticity went beyond the script. In the pilot episode, Ironside sported a bandage on his right hand. Interestingly, this wasn't a mere makeup choice. Burr had actually injured his first two fingers when he fell after a staged shooting scene. This incident, a testament to Burr's dedication to realism, set the tone for the series. Beyond the onset challenges, Ironside found itself echoed in unexpected places. The 1960s secret agent comedy Get Smart took a humorous jab at the wheelchair-bound detective. A cow's agent named Leadside, played by Ronald Long, spoofed Ironside, adding a touch of light-hearted parody to the crime drama genre. Adding to the series' star-studded connections, three familiar faces from Raymond Burr's Perry Mason days made appearances on Ironside. Barbara Hale, Wesley Lau, and Richard Anderson, known for their roles in the iconic legal drama, cross paths with Burr once again in this crime-solving narrative. These off-screen anecdotes, from Burr's onset injury to the playful parody in Get Smart, and the reunion of Perry Mason castmates, offer intriguing glimpses into the broader influence and interconnected world of the 1967 TV series Ironside. Each nugget of information adds a layer of complexity to the show's legacy, showcasing the multifaceted impact it had on both its creators and the audience. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the captivating world of a certain iconic television series from the late 60s, I hope these moments have been more than just a stroll down memory lane. Ironside, a show that effortlessly blended grit with intellect, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of timeless television. Now, as we stand at the crossroads of nostalgia and contemporary musings, it's your turn to share the spotlight. What memories has Ironside stirred in your soul? Was it the sharp-witted banter, the gripping narratives, or perhaps the characters that became your allies in this televised odyssey? The beauty lies in the personal tapestry each viewer weaves around this classic gem. In the echoes of Ironside's investigations and the resonating wisdom of its titular character, there's an invitation to reflect. Reflect on the connections forged between fiction and reality between the screen and the heart. How did Ironside leave its fingerprint on your own narrative? Share your thoughts, your favorite episodes, the lines that linger in your mind like a melody you can't forget. As we wrap up this conversation, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude for your time and your willingness to immerse yourself in the magic of storytelling. Your thoughts add vibrant hues to the canvas of our shared experiences. Until our next rendezvous with Tales Untold, Thank you for being a part of this narrative etched with the ink of collective memories. Wishing you endless reflections and spirited conversations.